Hi, I'm Emma Biggins. I'm the producer of The Harsh Light of Day. Hello, my name's Ollie Milburn. I'm the writer and director of Harsh Light of Day. I met Ollie uh, when we were doing a master's degree. Uh, I was doing a master's in producing film and Ollie was doing a master's in directing film at Bournemouth University. And I think it came across quickly that we were kind of on the same wavelength with, with each other and we wanted to make the same films and we kind of quickly became quite comfortable with each other. It was kind of, I don't know, like um, a, a subconscious kind of decision that we wanted to work together um, on something. And then, you know, the, the way the whole film came about was kind of both, both of our determination to kind of do something that was going to launch our careers. My initial brief to Ollie when we decided we wanted to make a film was let's make a horror because horrors have always got that niche horror audience so we knew there was always a guaranteed audience and it was a very sellable genre. Um, and if you're going to make a low budget film, it's kind of, you know, a, the low budget filmmaker's bible, you, you should start by making a horror or a thriller. Um, so that was always kind of a prerequisite. And then it was kind of the next thing was, well, let's see if we can come up with a good story. It was always going to be about the script. The script didn't work. Um, there wasn't going to be any point in making it. We knew we weren't going to be able to raise very much money. So what money we could make we'd have to shoot it on so we knew it was going to have to be a low budget idea but it had to be a really strong idea otherwise what was the point you know we'd never we'd never sell it there's often an assumption that writing is the easiest part and you can just do it oh I'll, I'll put the script together and and then we'll go out and shoot it and and you know it really isn't uh, like that you know there are a million ways to make a film but the only one which I think is universally true is that you know you need a, a good script or a good idea for how you're gonna, if you're improvising it, how you're gonna improvise it, or you know, whatever. You need a very solid uh, outline before you start shooting anything. If you start working on a film with someone and within a couple of weeks you're sort of getting on each other's nerves, that's probably not a very good yeah. sign and you should maybe, you know, re rethink the, the working relationship or the relationship, that, you know, whatsoever. Because um, obviously you spend a lot of time poor and uh, very tired and working really hard and there's like a you know you you think when you when you're young that there'd be a sort of equation like the amount of work you do will equal the amount of money you have which if you try to make uh if you go into making films certainly when you start out doesn't equate it's whatsoever. like the opposite yeah basically <laughs> basically because if you if you go and get a nine to five job you work a lot less hours but you make a lot more money um and uh yeah so so the point is you want to have people around you who uh, you're not in that kind of situation in those sort of circumstances you're not going to get really stressed with. Uh, this blog is going to basically cover um, the different areas of making a film from coming up with the initial concept to uh, script development, budgeting, finding finance, uh, production, <laughs> that's smooth, wasn't it? Production, uh, which you know, with cast and crew, um, and then post-production, editing, and all that um, pickups, which we had, we had a few for Harsh Light, and then um, possibly touch on selling a bit, although that's the big adventure we still have yet to do. But you know, we like everybody does first time around. We made a lot of mistakes, and hopefully, we can cover some of those, and hopefully. Um, yeah, reflect not just on the harsh light of day, but reflect on our filmmaking process as a whole and how if we would do it again, we would do it differently. Mm -hmm.